I'm still here with Madame Aquarius and she's brought out the cards. I'm a little too scared to have her read mine right now. So we thought we'd do a reading for good old Fort St. John. Now, is it actually possible to do a reading on a town as opposed to a person? For sure, because a town has a personality. You know, it's, an, it's a, something in and of itself. The other thing with this kind of thing is you have to be open to sometimes hearing things you don't want to hear, um, because then you can grow from it. You have to be open-minded with this, right? You do have to be open-minded. <laughs> uh, for magic to happen, you have to believe in magic. For magic to exist, you have to believe in it. To cut the cards for Fort St. John. And then I'm going to decide which card is body, mind, and spirit. Getting a first glance, um, the, the two of wands has to do with partnerships, has to do with, because it's two partnerships, dominion, so dominion is place. We're having a really great sense of place. Fort St. John is starting out at going, okay, we really do exist. We're at a point where uh, we are a city, we are established, we're happening. Now, we are happening. We're happening. <laughs> What's the overall tone, do you think, of what we've um, I think seen. things are very positive. Things are looking very positive. Willing to move beyond the ego. So being willing to move beyond uh, uh, what you think is the way things are supposed to be to what is possible. You know, because anything's possible. <laughs> All right, so. Well, I think we've ended on a pretty good note for Fort St. John's reading. We're actually going to head down to meet a woman named Dina who reads oracle cards, and she read a little bit about me specifically. So I like to use oracle cards. They're uh, a lot more gentle than tarot cards. Um, they're more for healing and um, empowering yourself, working on yourself, getting guidance. That sort of thing. How so. did you get into this? Like, is this something you've always been interested in, kind of spiritual, or how did it happen? No, not at all. <laughs> I, about six years ago, I went and had a reading myself, and it completely changed my life. So um, I started to work on myself, get to know who I really was, things that I really liked to do, because I, I was always trying to seek approval, mm. so I never really knew who I was. And the main thing that I changed was learning to love myself. Saying and that to yourself instead of needing it from other people? That's right. Interesting. Yeah. Since you had that reading, did you get into it right away? How did it come to be that now you are doing this? Well, it I just went crazy and I took every course that was out there I read every spiritual book there was I started to see intuitives regularly in different ones and they all told me that I would be doing this someday and um, and then I just realized that it was my purpose it was my path and how could I resist what Dina's intuition saw in me my curiosity just couldn't say no what I see is uh, you dancing and I see um, the movement uh, is really healing for you and your body and if you don't and if you don't get that uh, you won't feel aligned like you won't feel uh, deeply grounded. Do you know what I mean? By uh, yes, absolutely. I'm just hearing a lot and seeing a lot of you um, going 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 all the time and um, they just want you to slow down and appreciate um, even just something in nature. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. And um, being outside for you is, is really um, something that you need to do because it grounds uh, you as well. That is so true. <laughs> um, you have a hard time <laughs> being grounded. Uh, so if you're, um, you notice like you're losing things or um, you walk over to the room and you notice that, oh, I can't remember why I came over here, that, that's, that's a good indication of you not being grounded. Well, I must admit she was bang on with me not being grounded and also having a love of dance. And I've never met her before. She makes it clear that she just loves connecting with others. It makes my heart happy. I don't know how else to explain it. It just, um, having a purpose and doing what I love, what could be better than that?
Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Go Peace Country. As always, we love to hear from you, the viewer. So if you have any ideas or upcoming events you'd like to see us at, we would love to hear from you. As well, from the Shaw family to yours at home, we wish you a wonderful and safe Halloween. For Go Peace Country, I'm Emily Moyes.